hello it's Sarah and today I have my tile reveal so um, mermaid is a total fail and I say total because I had to cut it out of the mold I had to cut the Rubbermaid thing off of it and this never cured this is actually stuck oh it's very sticky I really don't want to get resin all over the place but you can see like it's a mushy mess it's still wet and as I pull, it just like pulls the resin off the piece. And then this part is hard. So, I mean, it's really unusable. I don't want to mess with it. I'm going to make another one. Not a problem. I'm going to just make another one. I have, this is the stamp I used. It's a Stampenda stamp. I think it's called Mermaid Kiddo. So I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to do, because that actually worked. Everything else worked. I had no issues. I love the shells on the bottom. I didn't dome the top either, so I mean, you know. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to try the bling again. I'm going to try the bling again. I'm really not sure what kind of background I'm going to do because um, I'm, I bought some of that cellophane and I'm going to play with a few smaller pieces before I do this. I'm going to play a little bit more before I attempt something so big again because that's a lot of resin. I do not need to use that much resin, so... Um, oh, I also put a flower in her hair, and that kind of just washed out, too, under the resin, so I wouldn't do that again. Um, you know, like, but I love this piece a lot, and it's going to be awesome when I do it. And I'll reveal, I'm um, not going to do a walkthrough. Um, I guess I could, but I don't, I think it's been there, done that already. I'm going to pull Tinkerbell in. She turned out fine, but look at all that resin. That's a lot of resin that I used. And I mean, if I don't only poured a thin layer, it would have only been able to curl up that much. So, you know, it's because I poured such a thick layer. The other thing I wanted to set, talk about was, I thought <laughs> that everybody was putting their bling on the doming um, la layer. So I just like added bling to my doming. <laughs> And it all sank in, like it got, it's half under, half out. Because I love the like crystals on top and the butterflies on, like and the flowers. Uh, Miss Trinity would put flowers on hers and bows. So I have all that stuff and then like the bow just sucked, or the flowers sucked up the resin. So that's like hard as a rock. But I love her. I think for a first attempt, I'm pretty happy. And I'm just going to put her up like this, like you can just set her. Um, I didn't, she's kind of translucent, transparent, um, and I put a few things behind her, like some felt and different things, and I think I'm just going to leave this one clear. I'm not going to put too much more work into it. I was going to hang it and stuff like that, but I think I'm just going to put it in this little, um, it's like a, you get these, at, I got mine at the Christmas tree shops. They have a tons of these, um, and I display my canvases and all types of stuff um, on them. So there's Tinkerbell. I, I mean, she is... Trans oh, oof, transparent so I don't know I mean because you can kind of even see this behind it maybe if there's not light like totally I don't know I like it though I'm I'm loving these Disney stickers so here's my other this one is um it's actually I got this uh it's a resin mold from resin obsession I'm gonna um put her down here so you can see better um, and she is just, it's, it's one, um, layer and I just, and I realize now that you don't have to wait for it to get tacky to put your stickers in. You can put your stickers in right away. I figured that out. But if you want your little, um, embellishments, like, so these stars that I put behind her, they are kind of, after it's gotten tacky, at least like a half an hour, I probably did these even more, um, took a little longer. Um, then they stay behind the, um, the, the focal point. Um, again, I put all my stuff on the doming before I figured that out. I watched some more videos last night and actually I, I want to give, I want to say it was finally Crafter's Delights. Nobody has done a video of when they add their bling. Nobody has it out there. Um, because Miss Trinity, everybody adds bling and, and cute little stuff. Like I said, Miss Trinity adds even fabric, bows, and different things. 
Um, nobody tells you exactly the process there, so I just put mine into the doming. Thought they would, you know, and I, I mean, they'd totally stay, but look, I mean, you lose half. This one lost its um, faceting. It just turns into a mirror. Um, this one's half in, half out. The flowers are half in, half out. Um, this flower is completely saturated in resin. And I mean, I don't hate it. I think it's pretty cool. I like the white. I used my pigments. My um, They're upstairs now. What the heck? Craft. Something craft pigments I used. The white turned out really cool. And when I domed, I put way too much resin. Um, and I'm, I'm going to perfect that too. But it totally floated off the side. So I just kept wiping and wiping. Um, I mean, I'm happy though. And I'm going to display her on this. They have these little easels. I actually had displayed one of my polymer clay um, tiles that I did on that so um, but I'm gonna be making some boxes I'm gonna I'm gonna do some clay I have a bunch of stuff poured upstairs that I'm gonna play with backgrounds now because I got the cellophane and I want to try some other color All right so I'll put her upside and I want to show you my Nemo Nemo came out pretty good I actually think these stickers really oh here again I put the bubbles on but I and the bling, but I did not need to put it when when my doming was drying. And this one didn't bleed over anything. I used um, the casting craft pigments again, and I just mixed uh, like I think two drops or so of white plus the blue, and then it came out this color. I mean, I don't love the color, but I think for just like doming it in that color, it turned out pretty cool. So I like this one. It's just you know, basic. It's very, um, just the blue glitter for the background, then added some bubbles. But I think the bubbles would stand out better if I hadn't put them in the doming. You know what I mean? Like they're a little, they're like half the size they would have been, but it's cute. I love these stickers. I'll play with them again. There's, I have like a bunch more of the Nemo stickers, so I'll use them again. That's really cute. And then this little Tinkerbell, this was from, I'm going to put it down a little so we don't, but this was, one of the soap molds. I like the size a lot. It's pretty much, you know, I did her just like the Cinderella. I put, um, I guess it's hearts back there. Is it hearts? I can't really see. Hearts and stars. And those are just the iridescent ones. These are the Martha Stewart ones. Kept it real basic. And then again, I put the bling in the doming. So half of my bow is, do it's like resin. And then this is like, you know, it didn't go over that. But I love it. I, I think I'm getting it. I'm get, you know, I'm keeping, I'm going to keep playing, definitely. I mean, resin's expensive, and I've gone through a lot of resin in like a week. But I actually bought the Envirotech uh, yesterday because um, they didn't have any, uh, I think I bought all the stuff in all, two, both of my stores, AC Moore and Michaels, I bought like all four of the things they had. Um, so, all right, those turned out good. Then I had these. Remember I made these little which this one was the the best one that I had. Everything shows up. Um, I really like it, and I hope to do more. I think I put just, like, glitter and hearts and stuff, and it's, it didn't take away too much from the lettering and the, um, the stickers because these are kind of, like, clear stickers, um, and I just domed it in white in the back. But then this one, obviously, I was trying to see because it says wild and crazy and you can't really see the letters and I don't know what background because I was taking my granddaughter's foam and felt and putting a bunch of um, colors behind these this one says up oh, girls night out and the pink glitter totally like I'm gonna go away and come back um, took away all like pink was not a good choice for to put behind here um, you know, I'm not sure about that. That's the stuff that I'm kind of figuring out. I really need to pour, uh, <coughs> excuse me, pour some smaller, pe <coughs> smaller pieces and just um, kind of layer. Or this is like a nice layer of resin, though. I like this one. And this one just says, well, um, oh, this is the wild and crazy. I showed that one. Oh, so this one I didn't dome yet. Because the purple definitely took away some of it, but I think if you look, when I cover it, party time shows up more. So I was thinking, I think I might make a purple and dome it with purple. 
and I'm just mixing the um, color craft color so I have red and blue so I'm gonna mix red and blue and make purple and I'll do them this one in purple and I have a bunch more upstairs um, that I did and I really left them clear like I didn't even all I d did on a couple of them was I went to the dollar store yesterday and I got those like they're iridescent uh, they're big glitters they're like the Martha Stewart glitter they're like these but they're um, hollow like it's just the shape of a star it's not a solid star um, circles I put those in Ariel because I'm gonna do an Ariel I have Belle um, so I'm making I'm gonna play with a couple more of these um, and I'm gonna try selling these at my craft show um, it's not until November so but I think these will hold up nicely. So if I make these now, because I want to make more ornaments and stuff like that, but I don't want to make them till closer to, I mean, they'll hold up too, their paper. Um, but I'm going to make some um, clay and, uh, you know, keep working on my, um, uh, my mermaid. I have all my stickers. So like I said, I'm going to stamp her out today and color her and get everything um, mod podged and ready to go. And um, so I will be playing with my resin and other things as well. I'm more of a jack of all trades, master of none. But this has been so fun um, learning all about the resin. And I have enjoyed it. And you guys have been so helpful. And, you know, it's trial and error, but I think I'm finally getting it. Uh, all this resin later. And, you know, it is what it is. All right, you guys, thanks all. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye bye.